So I've got all of the Edge features on my Galaxy S7. Ah, oh, check that out. Hi guys, we're gonna do something fun today. We're gonna actually walk through me actually installing a new ROM on my Galaxy S7. Now there's a new ROM called Superman ROM. I will show you that, uh, go ahead and download the file to your phone. Um, I've got it here. Let me show you my download folder and you'll see I've got the Superman ROM. Now this ROM is also available for S7 Edge. It has a bunch of cool features like enabled uh, multi-window for all apps, faster performance. Uh, for the Galaxy S7, it will convert your phone into an S7 Edge by giving you S7 Edge ported ROM. So let's go ahead and try to install this. Of course, um, you will have to have your phone rooted. If you don't have it rooted, make sure you root it first and then you'll follow this guide, all right? If you have your phone rooted, obviously, um, you probably have Torp Recovery installed. Um, make sure you download the ROM onto your phone or download it onto your computer and copy it over. Just a suggestion, don't download these large ROM files if you're on cellular network because cellular networks, um, they actually switch radios and sometimes when you switch radios, file download will stop. So download it on a Wi-Fi connection. If you don't have Wi-Fi, go to like McDonald's, buy a French fries and um, you'll be able to use their Wi-Fi for free in most countries. All right, once you have powered off your phone, you'll wanna hit volume up and center home. Uh, I lost the volume key here, it fell out of my case, damn it. All right, volume up, center home and power. Hold that down, of course, that's how you get into it. When you see the logo, um, let go of the power button and now you should be in Twerp recovery. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and swipe. Now, I haven't installed this ROM yet. I'm just walking you through. I just wanted to make a new style of video where you can follow with me as I do everything. And I install a ton of ROMs. I only show you like maybe one out of five ROMs that I actually test out. But this way you can actually test out, see all the problems and you know, kind of walk through with me. Um, do let me know if you like this new style of format where I'm just kind of going through. <laughs> All right, so the first thing you want to do, if you're on stock ROM, you want to save it, right? I want to save it. So make a backup ROM, right, before you install. Um, you can go ahead and select the storage. I have six gigs here. I do recommend using a USB OTG cable. USB OTG cable, you can pick one of these up for like, like a dollar or two bucks on, just grab a bunch on Amazon. And you can use any flash drive. And now what you can do is instead of using your internal storage or SD, you can use your SD of course also. But this way you can get it completely off your phone and just only use it when you, you know, install ROMs and stuff. So I have this with me all of the time. You will have to change the storage. So go ahead and select USB storage. And it's not working. Sometimes it doesn't work if you just plug it in right away. So just try rebooting recovery after you plug it in and I bet you it will work. Or sometimes tour recovery, um, the version you have might not work just because um, the version may be beta. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try again. Hopefully it will work. Ah, all right, for some reason it's not working. The tour version I have maybe not uh, compatible or maybe I didn't format this into FAT32. Sometimes um, some of the twerp you may have to format into FAT32. So forget that. Let me try formatting in FAT32. Okay guys, for those of you who don't know how to format um, for Windows, you just go ahead and plug it in and here is my drive. I'm gonna go ahead and format and I'm gonna choose FAT32, right? You can also do XFAT, but uh, FAT32 will most likely work with all twerp. It's an easier way. All right, when that's done, I'm gonna go back, plug it in and see if it works. Okay, I'm crossing my fingers. This will do the job. Plug it in, select storage. Ah, come on. So I am definitely sure this is the twerp version I have. You can always update your twerp by downloading the latest version at twerp.me. Let me go ahead and show you actually how to update the twerp. See, I've got the 3.0. Um, this could be because it's a beta version. So let me go ahead and have you show you that. Uh, just boot up your phone and we're gonna go ahead and download twerp, uh, the latest version and flash it on our phone. 
All right, guys, so I've got to boot it. Um, also, with the latest updates, you may lose root. Um, to get root back, all you have to do is go back into Twerp and flash the latest beta uh, Super SU version 2.74. I'll also have the link to that if you lost it. All right, the first thing you will need is Flashify. This allows you to uh, flash new images. So I'm gonna go ahead and download Flashify. All right, this will allow you to install the new Twerp. If you want the latest twerp, just go to twerp.me, twerp.me, that's the site you want to go. I go to devices, um, and go ahead and type Galaxy S7, or S7 Edge if you're using S7 Edge. Um, I'm using the S7 Exynos, so I'm going to go ahead and click that. And if you go down to primary here, um, you will be able to find all of the latest versions. So the version I have is really old. That's when we first had the root method. So this sh should fix it. Um, also, if you, for some reason, if you need to flash it with Odin, you can use the tar file, all right? But we're gonna go grab the IMG file, right? And just go ahead and click on download. This will download um, the file. Get, all right, it's downloaded there. So I'm gonna go ahead and use uh, Flashify now. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit accept and it'll probably ask me for root, right? Grant, grant. And we're gonna try a recovery image and we're gonna choose a file uh, and we're gonna go into our file explorer, go to SD card, downloads, download, and then choose twerp um, 3.0.2.1 hero LTE, yep. Now, if you're using S7 Edge, choose that file. And flash complete. We're gonna go ahead and try to boot into it now. So this is kind of cool, interactive, like you'll be able to see all the problems I go through that, you know, while I do this. Um, so control, volume up, center home, and power. And let's get back in here. Of course, if you don't run into these problems, you can always skip it, you know, but I'm, just doing a realistic video. Uh, for some reason, I don't think I did it right. Not sure. It should say something up here. Oh, it worked. There you go. 3.0.2-1. So hopefully this new version would have fixed the OTG issue and I should be able to make a backup here. And I will update my site so you guys can get the latest version if this works. Yes! Boom shakalaka. So we solve one problem, and this will happen on many, many other Android smartphones. If your Tor version is borked, you will not be able to choose um, USB storage. But it doesn't really happen. This is because the version I was using was Super Veda. That's just you know when they first came out with um, Tor. So let me go ahead and swipe. Also, you can make a name. I like to actually make a name that I can remember. So delete all this, and I'll just call it my stock ROM. So if you ever want to go back to stock, you'll have a copy of it, you know, on your flash drive. You won't have to take up space. I mean, this is the recommended method. Do that, stock, backup. So I'll always be able to um, come back to completely stock. Now making a backup ROM also saves all of your apps, all of your app data. The only thing it doesn't save is contents of your SD card, such as personal files, uh, photos and videos, something that, you know, is in your phone when you connect it uh, as a disk drive. So back up those things, you know, as, you know, you can just copy it to your computer. So when this is done, we're gonna continue. It's gonna take a while, probably like 10 minutes, but all of my uh, data will be saved into this USB flash drive. That's how the pros do it. So I'll be back, or you can use a micro SD card. I just like this because that way I don't have to put a micro SD card in there. It won't take up space in my micro SD card. Um, I just have all my backups on my one flash drive, so I don't have to corrupt my disk space on the phone. Yeah. Anyway, I'll be back when this is done. It's the quick update. It's taking forever because I've got seven gigs of data here. Um, anyway, I'm still waiting after like 10, 15 minutes. Okay, that's taking forever, so I'm actually installing another ROM. This is a S7 Edge port ROM for the Note 4. I should have a video on that soon. I'm gonna install it right now while wow, that's still packing up my stuff. 
All right, guys, finally done. Anytime you need to restore your ROM, reboot into uh, Torp Recovery, plug in your OTG flash drive, or if you're not using it, you're good. Restore, hit stock, and swipe to restore. That's pretty much it. But all my backup, all my apps, all my settings in this flash drive. So take care of that. All right, let's go actually into installing this ROM. Obviously, you will need to do a factory reset. All right, this will erase everything, by the way. Um, but you made a backup. So I showed you how to make a backup, so you don't have to worry about it. Sometimes things can go wrong. You can go to advanced wipe and format system manually. You usually don't have to, but if it fails to boot or something, you can try that. But uh, we're just going to go to the standard method here. I'm going to go ahead and select my internal storage back here and go to my download folder. I'm going to go ahead and install the Superman ROM. So let's go ahead and install it. Flash. Um, pretty standard stuff. When this is done, uh, we should have the ROM running. Now some of these custom ROMs do come with an Aroma installer, which is a graphical installer. You can choose all these different languages for installation. Obviously I'm going to use English. Hit next. Next. All right, just click on that next. Go to installation. All right, um, go ahead and choose the version. Uh, if you have the SMG 930F, the S7 or S7 Edge. All right, hit yes. Uh, do you want exposed? One of the features of this ROM is that it has exposed, so you don't have to install it. It'll work out of the box. All right, um, Super SU, Super SU. Uh, go ahead and choose the V2.73. All right, um, BusyBox, go ahead and say I want BusyBox. Uh, there is a sound mod that should make your sound bigger, so that is a plus, so go ahead and hit next. Uh, stock emoji, or do you want iOS, iOS emoji? <laughs> go ahead and click next. Uh, install modded system UI, rounded system UI, gray scaling, remove while on power saving mode. All right, let's use the mod um, I don't really care what it is, but you can go ahead and choose the correct one. If it doesn't show the one for your country, just go ahead and choose a random one like I did. Install now, hit OK, and this will install the new Super Ram, Superman ROM. And I'll be back when this is completely finished. It should take like five minutes. Okay guys, it is done. I'm gonna hit next. Reboot system now, finish and we should be good to go. We should have a new ROM installed on my Galaxy S7. All right, it's just stuck. I hope it's not stuck. I'm just gonna leave it alone uh, for a couple minutes and hopefully it will boot and I'll be back in a few minutes. So I ran into another problem. The, right, the reason why it's stuck here is because I don't have the latest bootloader, obviously, or the bootloader it requires is the PDN bootloader and also I'll need a PDN modem. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it into download mode. Um, so unexpected event of event events, and I'm gonna go ahead and hold down volume down, center home, power. So these are the things that you can run into problems. Um, so I'm gonna have to use, put it into download mode. I keep holding down volume down, center home, power. All right, uh, when you're in download mode, hit the volume up. I'm gonna go ahead and connect it to my computer via micro USB cable. Let's go to our computer real quick. Okay, you will need to download uh, the PDN. All right, PDN, um, this is the bootloader, and also this is the, uh, the modem. I'll have the links for all of them. This is for the S7, and also for S7 Edge, there's a bunch of downloads here. I'll have it all organized so you guys can just click download. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and download these two files and it shouldn't take it should take a few minutes These files are super small. All right guys next you will need Odin uh, v3.16 Obviously go ahead and download it unzip it run the program um, Make sure you see this blue highlighted sign. We got BL and CP All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and choose BL. This is the bootloader go to my download folder and choose BL and also for CP I'm gonna go ahead and choose CP Hit open, I'm gonna flash it. Um, this is for this ROM, otherwise it will not boot. Ah! So I'm gonna hit start. It will flash the new bootloader. It will flash the new modem. It will reset, and now it should go
go past this logo after a few seconds. And boom shakalaka. Now, it, didn't, it went in here. Let me just go ahead and reboot system. It went into tour for some reason, but it should work now. So I'm gonna go ahead and unplug it. And hopefully this will get us out of the boot loop. All right, I'm just gonna manually reboot because it's stuck after a few minutes. It shouldn't get stuck on there. Um, I'm just gonna just reboot it one more time and let it sit for like 10 minutes, all right? And we'll go on from there. Hopefully it will boot. Okay, this is definitely not booting, so I'm gonna actually reboot. Go ahead and hold down volume down, um, power and the home button. Oh, and then hit the volume up when it reboots. And I'm gonna actually reinstall the ROM format system like I told you because I'm in a boot loop. Nope, I don't think I did it right. So make sure you hit volume down and go back up to volume up as soon as it reboots. Let go of the power button when you see the logo. And you should be in twerp, back in twerp. All right, we're gonna do wipe, advanced wipe. We're gonna go ahead and format system. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and reinstall the ROM. Install, download, Superman, flash. And we'll go through the, um, we're gonna try the ver the Super SU. I think it may be causing boot loop, so I'm gonna choose the older, older version. You can also use version 2.74 later if you don't have root. So we don't have to worry about that. Just click next, next. Go through this all again, installation, choose 930F, next, okay, next. All right, we're gonna choose older um, 2.68, which could be causing the problem. Next, 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 okay. Next, next, install now. All right, this will reinstall the ROM. Uh, we, start, we formatted the system. So sometimes you will have to format the system and it will definitely work because the system partition gets corrupt. So when this is done, we'll check out if we can finally uh, boot our ROM. Hi right, guys, so it's been almost an hour since I've been trying to install this ROM. I've been installing this ROM here. I've ended up in the boot loop. Uh, let me go ahead and hit next, reboot. And hopefully this will work, all right? Just you know, if, if you should have some kind of um, self-control when installing these ROMs because I know some people, they got so frustrated, um, they broke their phone or, you know, throw some chairs around. Um, you know, that's kind of childish. Oh, boom shock a lot. Oh, it rebooted into the logo. So I, I run into that all the time, you know, so just be patient. If it doesn't work, and boom shakalaka. See, I went, I went out of the boot loop, so I keep trying different things and just keep trying until it boots and it will boot, you know. It happens to every one of us, even myself. Sometimes I spend like three hours trying to install ROM, end up in a boot loop, All right? Just calm down, format system, reinstall ROM, install the bootloaders, whatever modem, and I got it booted, All right? I got out of that boot loop, so whatever was causing it, you know, I fixed it. So just keep trying. And also make sure you have enough time to do this. You don't want to be installing a ROM. Like some people do this, I swear. They're going on vacation tomorrow and they're like, oh, I want to install this other ROM. They spend all night long trying to install it. They can't get out of a boot loop and they could go end up on a vacation and buying another phone or something. You know, that's all your fault. So don't be that guy. Be smart, have a lot of time when you install these ROMs and you'll be okay. Just take it easy, you know, just do it when you have a lot of time. This isn't something um, that, you know, sometimes it, you do get stuck. You know, this isn't something you do. Uh, even for me, I make sure I have like a couple hours of slot window uh, when I'm rooting something because you just can't do it uh, when you don't have time. And you'll rush, you'll make stupid mistakes, you'll end up in a boot hoop. You will cry, um, get angry, don't do that. Anyway, just a public message. For those of you guys who stay patient, you're the ones who will be able to install ROMs and stuff. And a lot of people give up, and don't be that person that gives up either. Anyway, I'll be back talking too much when this boots. And boom shakalaka, guys. I got it installed. It took me uh, quite a while. I had to reinstall the latest version of Twerp. 
um, just to get the OTG working. And then I installed the ROM. And then I ended up in a boot loop. So I installed the bootloader, the modem. And then it wouldn't boot. So I had to reinstall the ROM. Um, and finally got it booted. So sometimes it takes quite a while to, you know, get it working. And a lot of you may fall into the category of, you know, installing your ROM for the first time. But look at this. Look at the results. I've turned my Galaxy S7 into a S7 Edge. Yeah, this case doesn't. If you're gonna use the Edge screen, use a thinner case. Um, this will help me, there we go. So I've got all of the Edge features on my Galaxy S7. Ah, uh, check that out. I mean, that is really, really cool. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at this real quick. So this is an S7 uh, Edge ROM, right? Now the settings looks all different also. You got different, uh, it got, it's got it organized into different uh, categories here. About phone, um, it still says SMG 930F, but obviously this ROM is based off an S7 Edge, which is really cool. Now I've also got Super SU, let's see if it's working. So Super SU root working flawless. And also you got exposed installer, so you can get all the exposed modules now without having to manually install it. You got BusyBox, Attaway. I don't recommend using that uh, for everything because you know, it kind of blocks all our ads on YouTube. Just don't use it for YouTube. But it's a great way to block ads on games. I use it for my daughter's uh, phone. I have Attaway. So that way when she's playing games and you know, you don't want ads showing up all the time and I feel bad for her. So after I install it, she has no more ads. So looking pretty solid ROM. You know, I'll definitely have to test it uh, out and see how good this is. Uh, but this is really cool. Probably the coolest feature, of course, is that you get S7 Edge features right there. All the features on the ROM. Superman ROM, definitely try it out. And you should have no problem installing it since I've walked you through all my problems. I'll have all the files you have to download, step-by-step -step installation instructions on my site, galaxyos7root.com, so check that out. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up for me. Uh, follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, Plus, Instagram, Periscope, and as always, stay on Android. I really like this ROM. Uh, look at that. Click here to subscribe.